Welcome to Knack Tack 910. Pair of circles. Congruent circles. What are congruent circles? Okay, before I get there, look at this. Say, I have a circle with this radius as 5 centimeters. I have another circle with the same radius as 5 centimeters. Here, they're similar circles, but they don't share the same center, so they're congruent. That means congruent circles are circles that have the same radius, but different centers. So, these two circles here are congruent to each other because they have the same radius of 5 centimeters and different centers. Concentric circles. Concentric circles are two circles that have the same center, but different radius. Same center, but they measure different radius? How is that possible? It's like a circle in a circle. Exactly, like this. Radius of the inner circle is smaller than the outer circle. These two are concentric circles because they have same centers, but different radius. Intersecting circles. Okay, say I draw a circle, and then I draw another circle overlapping the first one. They don't have to share the same center, but they can have different radius. That means circles which intersect at one or two distinct points are intersecting circles. But how can two circles intersect at one point? I can only think of two intersecting points. How is that possible? Hmm, I'm glad you asked that question. Here, how about this one? I draw a circle. I draw another circle touching only one point of the circle. Oh, a circle in a circle. Right, how about this one? Oh, wow, never thought there are many ways to do this. Now tell me, what do you think these circles are? Concentric, congruent, or intersecting? These are all concentric circles because they have a common center. Exactly. That's why I always say math is easy and fun when you understand your concepts with a little bit of practice and loads of fun. <laughs>